telephone request came to the office of the society about a dog left trapped in an apartment in Bayam after its owner was hospitalized. According to the neighbor, the dog's bark and cries got weaker and weaker, and it seemed that the dog had already been locked in the apartment for two days without water, food, or care. The neighbor told us that he called the police, but without a court order, it was not within their jurisdiction to break in and rescue the dog. The apartment owner claimed that she did not have the key, and the municipal veterinarian refused to come to the site. Since he was determined to help the poor dog, the neighbor called the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and requested its help. The Society's attorney immediately turned to the magistrate's court in Tel Aviv, requesting a court order that would allow breaking in the door. In spite of the very real threat to the life of the dog, the judge on duty contended that it was the responsibility of the police to act in this case, and suggested asking the police to help with obtaining the identity of the hospitalized renter and asking her for the keys to the apartment. At the police station, they did not see this as an emergency, and a whole night passed while the poor dog was locked in the apartment. The next morning, a magistrate judge issued a court order, and the representatives of the society went to the police station and requested that the police accompany them to the apartment. The police commander again called the owner of the apartment, and after she understood that they were about to break into the apartment, she claimed that she found the apartment keys and asked that they wait until she arrived. After about an hour, the owner of the apartment arrived and opened the door. The sight that was now revealed to those present was shocking. The floor of the apartment was covered with excrement, and the unfortunate 10-year-old dog of the collie breed was found lying on the terrace in death throes. Dr. Shapiro, the society's veterinarian, gave first aid treatment to the dog. He gave it an infusion of liquids, but in a short time the dog died of dehydration. The sad and unnecessary incident could have been prevented, but for the apathy of the police, the judge, the municipal veterinarian, and the apartment owner, we are calling for the legal authorities to not ignore helpless animals, for which we are their voice, and we expect them to act in such circumstances exactly as they would act if a human being were locked in an apartment. Similarly, we are asking the public to be alert and to quickly report cases in which there is fear that the animal's life is at stake. At this time, a complaint has been lodged in the Ministry of Agriculture against the Municipal Veterinarian of Bayam, and a case was opened by the police against the apartment owner.